Welcome to Shea Cherie. Today's video is going to be showing you how to make these wristlet key fobs. It's a very quick and easy project to make, and it's also a great way to use some of your scrap fabric. So I'll show you the materials you need, and we'll go ahead and get started. You'll need a piece of fabric measuring 14 inches by three inches, some quilting interfacing or batting, that's gonna be 13 inches by one half inch, a swivel clasp. This one pictured here is three quarters of an inch, but you could also size up to one inch. That'll work just fine. Some micro tip scissors, some seam rippers, and I also didn't picture it, but of course you'll need some matching thread, some pins and clips, an iron, and a sewing machine. Let's get started. First, you're gonna fold your fabric in half, wrong sides together and lengthwise. Then you'll press that down with an iron. And then you'll open that up and fold each edge into the center crease that you just made. And you'll go ahead and iron that down as well. Once you have all your creases made, you'll go ahead and get your quilting interfacing and put that in one of the inner panels. Make sure you're putting the glue side down toward the fabric the right way and then you'll go ahead and iron that. Fold everything back together and do one final press. Next, you're going to slide your swivel clasp onto the wristlet base and then you're going to open up the ends of the fabric on each side. Once your ends are opened up, you'll want to put them together, right sides of the fabric facing, and you want to match up the seams that you creased in and go ahead and pin that together. Once that's all pinned, we're taking it to the sewing machine and we're going to sew a straight line with a half an inch allowance. Be sure to backstitch at the beginning and end. Here you want to trim the excess threads and once you finish that, go ahead and unpin the wristlet. And you're going to open the half inch seam allowance and flatten it out and then you're going to fold the fabric back into the original creases that you made. Once everything is folded back into place, find the seam you just made and line up both ends so that the seams are matching and clip that into place. Now we're heading back to the sewing machine and sewing the open edge all around the wristlet. I use a quarter inch seam allowance. Once again, you want to trim your excess thread. Now, if you want to, you can leave it here. It's technically all sewn together and it's still gonna do what it do as a wristlet. But if you would like a more polished professional look, we're gonna go ahead and sew the inner edge as well. And again, using a quarter inch seam allowance. Trim those threads and the final touch will be to sew the clasp into place so it's not constantly moving around your wristlet. So find that horizontal seam that we made and you're going to move the clasp into position near that seam. And you're going to pinch your wristlet together and you're going to top, sew, top stitch through both layers and that will lock in your clasp. And it's a small area but you still want to back stitch at the beginning and end of this stitch as well. Here is the final product. As you can see, the clasp is secured in place. 
you can hook it on to your key ring or your belt loop and of course there's enough room to slide it onto your wrist and there you have it if you enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe and definitely comment below let me know if you have any questions or if you try to make it yourself and i will see you all in the next video thanks for watching